Peace and blessings to all. This is Imani with your gentle yoga classes on Mindful Monday at Norfolk Senior Center. <clears throat> For those of you that I may not have met before, my name is Imani. I have been uh, certified as a yoga instructor since 2008. I have experience teaching beginners, seniors, prenatal and postnatal couples, those healing from injuries, those with chronic illnesses, and those with hip or knee replacements. And for nearly 10 years, I have been teaching uh, free and donation-based classes in uh, low-income communities, um, of which I live in one. So, <clears throat> um, the policy here at Norfolk Senior Center is that if a class has less than three um, people registered, that class will be canceled. So, as the seasons change, the weather changes, and we're going to be uh, going back to standard time, um, I expect there to be some fluctuation in the uh, attendance for this class. So, if a class is canceled, uh, the 9.30 class or the 10.30 class on Monday, then I encourage you to um, seek out the um, replays online where you can, you can find them at uh, Norfolk Prime Plus Senior Centers on Facebook as well as YouTube. And um, since I will be recording classes wherever available, you will also be able to find them at Divine Peace Meditation and Yoga. Thank you so much for your support. All right, let's find a comfortable seat, whether that is cross-legged or with the legs extended or the legs opened wide or even sitting on the heels, such as in hero pose. <clears throat> find your comfortable seat and let's start to <clears throat> Tune into the natural breath. <clears throat> Eliminate outside distractions by resting your eyes. You can close your eyelids all the way or halfway, or you can stare at a point in front of your mat, a point on the floor in front of your mat. Whatever it takes to cut out those distractions coming in from all sides. <clears throat> Another way um, to eliminate distractions, again, is to tune into your <clears throat> inhales and your exhales. Right now, we are paying attention to how we are breathing in and breathing out naturally without changing anything. <sighs> you want to notice, is the breath flowing in kind of quick and choppy, or is it flowing in more relaxed? Do a body scan from the top of the head all the way down to the soles of the feet. Trying to notice any um, tightness, any stiffness, any twinges, and allowing yourself to relax each quadrant of the body as you scan down. Once you get to the soles of the feet, slowly scan back up to the crown and see if there's any place else that you can allow to relax or release tension. <clears throat> In an effort to make our breath more mindful, mentally count to three, four, or five as you inhale. <clears throat> Hopefully the body will be relaxed enough so that the abdomen will inflate, the diaphragm will spread, the heart will lift, the neck will elongate, the crown will lift up. Also, the, the um, tailbone will be lengthening down into whatever you're sitting on. As you exhale, draw the navel in and slightly up to engage the abdominal muscles. Relax the shoulders down from the earlobes. Relax the, um, the hips and the sitting bones more into what you're sitting on. Relax the legs and the extremities, relax them toward the floor or toward the earth. And we're gonna take three very slow breaths, 
try to count to three, four, or five as you um, in mentally count as you inhale. Draw the navel in and slightly up. Slow exhale, same mental count. Relaxing the shoulders, hips, and extremities. Slow breath in, still counting. Draw in the navel to keep the lift in the heart. Slow exhale as the shoulders relax down, hips, and extremities. Third time is the charm. Slow, slow inhale. Navel draws in and up the whole time that you're slow, slow, slowly exhaling. And we try to maintain that mindful, equal diaphragmatic breath throughout our practice unless there are some other breathing exercise indicated. <clears throat> also, there is the resting breath. The resting breath is, um, is maintaining whatever posture you're actually in so that you can catch your breath if you feel like you're moving too fast. Or you can actually get into a resting posture and take those um, resting <laughs> breaths as needed. <clears throat> Mindful breath, which is equal diaphragmatic breath. Still counting mentally as we inhale and exhale. We'll add some mindful movement to our inhales and our exhales. As we inhale, allow the heart to lift as we gaze up toward the heavens. Draw the navel in and slightly up as we exhale and cast the gaze toward the earth. See how slow you can go four more times. Slow inhale. Navel draws in and up for a slow exhale. Follow your breath for the last three in case I'm talking too fast. See how slow you can go. Inhale, the gaze parallel to the earth. And as you exhale, allow the shoulders and hips to relax toward the earth. <coughs> Take a resting breath. <coughs> we'll add in some arms and legs as we progress. Slow inhale, reach out to the sides, through, extending through the fingertips and slowly up. This is where that mental count to four or five helps you. Draw the navel in, turn the palms out, and as you exhale, slowly reach the fingertips out and then touch down to earth. Follow your breath as we do four more. Slow inhale. Navel draws in for a slow exhale. Visualize that you're inhaling through a straw slowly and steadily.
last one. Inhale, slow as you can. Fingertips touch down, take a resting breath. Side bends. Plant the right fingertips. Inhale and reach slowly up through the left fingertips. Draw in the navel. <clears throat> As you exhale, reach up and over. Plant those right fingertips to anchor the left hip. Inhale, come halfway up. Draw in the navel to engage the abdominals. Slide the fingertips out a bit and deepen your side bend as you exhale. Take a resting breath here. Inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, relax through the shoulders. Maybe deepen your side bend another centimeter. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, fingertips reach for the earth. Plant the left fingertips. Inhale, right fingertips overhead. Engage the abdominals. Reach up and as you exhale, side bend to your left. Press the left fingertips to anchor the right hip. Inhale, halfway up. Slide the fingers out a bit. Engage the abdominals. Side bend as you exhale. Stay here. Inhale. Open up the heart. Exhale. Draw in the navel to deepen your side bend another centimeter. Inhale all the way up. Engage the abdominals as you exhale, reaching out and then down. Spinal twist to boost the immune system. Right hand outside <clears throat> the left knee. Right hand reaches around behind you, either to the center of the back or all the way over to your left side. Inhale, <clears throat> sit up nice, nice and tall. Draw on the navel, and as you exhale, turn the navel, the chest, and then the head to your left. Stay here for a resting breath. Inhale, heart lifts. Draw on the navel. Exhale, shoulders relax down. Hips sink into <clears throat> the earth. Slow inhale as we untwist. Exhale, relax the shoulders and hips toward the earth. Other side. Left hand outside the right knee. Right hand behind you to your center of the back or reaching over to your left side. Inhale. Sit up tall, draw in the navel, exhale, turn the navel, turn the heart, turn the head. Inhale, engage the abdominals, see if you can turn a little bit deeper into your twist. Stay here for a breath. Slow inhale as we untwist. Exhale as we ground. Take a resting breath. Extend the legs. <clears throat> Mm 
Inhale, we point the toes. Exhale, we draw on the navel and we flex the foot. Let's do two more. Slow inhale. Heart lifts, crown lifts, draw on the navel. Slow exhale, relax the shoulders. Inhale, point, exhale, ground. Ankle circles, giant circles, still inhaling and exhaling mindfully. Inhale for the first half of the circle, exhale for the second half of the circle. Two times in one direction and then switch. Giant circles, inhaling and exhaling mindfully. All right, a little shake through the knees. <clears throat> Inhale and bend the left foot, plant it to the inner, the right inner thigh. Sitting up nice and tall. <clears throat> Inhale, reach out to the sides and up. Draw in the navel. And as you exhale, hinge forward at the hip crease, not the waist. Keep the back flat. And reach over your toes. If reaching for the toes or past the toes is a strain, hold on to the ankle and relax the shoulders. Tuck the chin a little bit to take tension out of the neck. Inhale. Heart and crown lift up, drawing the navel to keep that lift. Exhale, drawing the navel, make space so that the heart can lower toward the shin. Stay here for a resting breath. Inhale, lower back and side ribs inflate because the abdomen's pressing into the thighs. Drawing the navel, exhale, see if the heart can lower a millimeter closer to the earth. Tuck the chin. Release the hands, inhale, reach forward and up. Palms come together, exhale, namaste to the heart. Take a breath. Extend the left leg, inhale, bend the right knee, and plant the sole of the foot to the left inner thigh. <clears throat> Sitting up tall, inhale, reach out and up. Draw in the navel. Exhale, hinge forward at the hip crease, not the waist, and reach past your toes. Relax through the shoulders. If this is a strain, grab the ankle. Tuck the chin slightly to release tension in the neck. Inhale, heart lifts, crown lifts. Back and side ribs expand, drawing the navel, exhale, let the heart lower toward the earth. Tuck the chin and take a resting breath. Tuck the chin, inhale, reach forward and up. Palms meet, exhale, namaste to the heart. Take a resting breath. Extend the right leg out. <clears throat> Again, give the knees a little shake. And let's widen, seated wide straddle. <clears throat> Move the buttocks a little bit back to make sure that you're sitting evenly on your sitting bones. <clears throat> the feet are flexed. Um, again, if there's any strain, you can bring in a block. Put the fingertips on the block. <clears throat> Let's relax the shoulders from the earlobes. Fingertips can touch the floor in front of us. Inhale, lift the heart, lift the crown, neck extends, tailbone digs into the earth. Draw in the navel, 
to keep the heart lifted. And as you exhale, crawl forward, heart lowers. We're folding forward at the hip crease instead of at the waist. And keep it flat. And put the forearms on the block. This allows you to relax your shoulders from the ears instead of hunching up. Take a couple of breaths. Keep the feet flexed. Feet want to get lazy. Don't let the knees lock. Keep a micro bend in the knees. And breathe. On the exhale, if you, on the inhale, send an oxygen to your lower back, your side ribs, your, uh, your hip joints. And as you exhale, draw in the navel. And if there has been um, release in the joints, then let yourself crawl forward. <sighs> Take a resting breath. Take two. Lower back and side ribs expand. As you exhale, heart and head lower toward the earth. Relax those shoulders from the earlobes. One more breath. Tuck the chin. And as you inhale, slowly walk yourself back up. When your shoulders are over your hip joints, that's when you lift your head. Take a breath. Inhale here in center. Draw in the navel. Exhale and take a look to your left. Relax through those shoulders as you exhale. Inhale. Back to center. Let the crown of the head lift up. Draw in the navel to keep the heart lifted. And as you exhale, relax those shoulders down and look to your right. Slow inhales, we come back to center. And we stay here through the exhale. Slowly walk those feet back together. <clears throat> shake through the knees, and then we swing them to one side and come up to hands and knees. <laughs> I bring in a blanket under my knees because I have old knee injuries. So, the knees come straight down below the um, the hip out of the hip joints, spread the fingers wide and bring them below the shoulder joints. Draw in the navel, relax the tailbone <clears throat> so that you can flatten the back. As you inhale, let the heart come forward through, <clears throat> through your hands, gaze forward, tailbone lifts. As you exhale, tuck the navel, tuck the tailbone, tuck the chin, and press the back of the heart toward the heavens, like a Halloween cat. Inhale, cow pose. Abdomen is relaxed toward the earth. Exhale. Back of the heart is reaching toward the heavens. Let's do that three times. See how slow you can go, maybe counting to four or five this time. I'm going to turn to the side so that you can see that angle. Inhale, cow, follow your breath for three. Exhale, cat tuck. Inhale. If you can count to four or five, slow it down. Exhale. Last one. Super slow mo. Inhale. Exhale. And back. 
to a flat back. We always need to work on our balance. So, <clears throat> inhale, extend the right leg. Exhale, ground. Inhale, extend the left fingertips. Exhale, ground. Relax through the shoulders. Inhale, extend forward and back. Exhale, draw in the navel to ground everything that's still touching the earth. Inhale, extend through the toes and the fingertips. Exhale, hand down and then the knee. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat tuck. Back to a flat back. Inhale, <clears throat> left foot back. Exhale, ground. Inhale, right fingertips forward. Relax through the shoulders as you exhale. Two more breaths. Inhale, lift and extend. Exhale, draw on the navel, relax through the shoulders. One more, inhale, extend through the fingers and toes. Draw on the navel, exhale, hand down, and then the knee. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat tuck. And then inhale and exhale with a flat back. Inhale, lengthen forward and back through the spine. Draw on the navel. Exhale, sit on the heels. Inhale, lengthen. Draw on the navel. Exhale to the forearms. Lower the head to the stacked fist or to a block. is more about <laughs> hips to heels than it is about head to earth. So your head can be lifted much higher. It's more about the hips relaxing down and lengthening the back. Five slow, full breaths here. This is where <clears throat> mental count comes in to make those inhales and those exhales take a lot longer so that you can enjoy the benefits a little longer. You can even widen the knees and let the big toes touch behind you, making more space for the abdomen and the heart to lower to the earth. A couple more breaths. As you feel more opening in the back or in the hips, you can lower the height of the prop. As long as the hips stay low and don't come up any higher. A couple of more breaths. If you lower your prop and your hips come up higher, then your body's not ready to, to go to the lower level. Keep it at the highest point or the medium point. <clears throat> All right. Let's gently lift up just enough on the inhale so that we can walk over to our right, extreme right. Bring the block with you if you need to. And as you um, exhale, lower over that right thigh. Adjust the height of your block to where you need it. Mm. Who knows, might need the highest setting. and see if you can slide your left hand more forward. Let me get a little bit of an oblique stretch on the left side. 
the muscles in between the ribs. As you open up, you can deepen that twist <clears throat> to the right. Last breath. <sighs> Take your time. As you inhale, lift up enough to go through center. And over to your left side. As you exhale, lower down to your prop. And see if you can extend your right hand just a bit more just a bit further down the left to give a little stretch to those obliques between the right ribs. Take your time, inhale and lift up. Come back to the center. And as you exhale, bow one more time. <coughs> Three more breaths. Tuck your chin. Slowly bring the palms underneath the shoulders. Spread the fingers. And as you inhale, keep the chin tucked. And slowly lift up until your shoulders are over your hips, then lift the head. You can walk the knees back in to center, to the midline of the body. <clears throat> and again, tuck the toes. Sit hips on heels and let shoulders come over the hip joints. Take a couple of breaths in hero pose. Walk the knees to your um, right and lower the hips to your left. <clears throat> and then we'll swing the legs forward. Take a second, get you a sip of water. Wipe the forehead if you need to. <clears throat> All right. And we're gonna find partial recline. Move out any props that you don't need. <clears throat> the knees are bent and slightly hips closer to the heels, come onto the elbows, and then onto the back, and you are in partial recline. Mm. Ooh, let's take a breath or two to connect the back body to the earth. Relax both shoulders, the plates of the shoulders into the earth. The egg part of the head, but not the shoulder, the neck. There should be no weight on the neck, no pressure on the neck at all. Press your lower back into the earth, and that will tuck your tailbone. This is the best way to protect your lower back. Walk your heels close to your hips. <clears throat> reach the fingertips toward the heels. Doesn't matter if they touch or not, this is just to relax your shoulders down from your earlobes. Press the palms into the earth. <clears throat> and as you inhale, we're gonna press palms and feet into the earth and inhale, lifting the hips, the glutes and the hip, and the, um, hip joints, the glutes and the lower back off the earth. In looking like this, inhale, and it's a low bridge. Stay here for a breath. 
And as you exhale, <clears throat> lower down the spine and the hips touch down last. The glutes touch down last. Take a breath. Inhaling, grounding through hands and feet and lifting glutes and lower back off the earth. Draw the inner thighs toward each other. As you exhale, maintain the low bridge pose for a breath. Inhale. See if you can lift the hips a tiny bit more. Draw in the navel, and as you exhale, roll down the back and let the glutes touch down last. We're going to do that. <clears throat> Two more times. I'm going to turn a little bit to an angle so that you can get a better view. Follow your breath. Go back to your mental count. See how slow you can go. Inhaling. Maintain through the exhale. Navel still draws in even though we are not moving. Draw the inner thighs toward your middle, toward each other. Inhale, lift a little bit more. Draw in the navel. Exhale, roll down the spine and let the glutes touch down last. Take a breath. One more time. Plant the hands as you inhale, lift glutes, lower back, and maybe the mid back this time. Draw those inner thighs. The knees want to splay out to the sides. Draw those inner thighs together to keep everything close to the midline. Inhale, draw in the navel, slow exhale, roll down the spine. Let the glutes touch down last. This time, open the knees. Bring the soles of the feet together, press them together, bring the fists or blocks underneath the thighs. Recline cobbler's pose. We're gonna take three slow breaths. Inhale, let the abdomen inflate, let the diaphragm spread, let the heart lift, neck lengthen, maybe the crown um, lifts a little bit, extends a little bit. The tailbone is extending past your heels. As you exhale, draw that navel in and let everything ground into the earth. <clears throat> Two more slow breaths. Mental count if you need to, but see how slow you can go. Inhaling. Exhaling. One more time. Inhaling. Exhaling. Very gently widen the feet. Draw the knees back toward the midline. Take a breath. <clears throat> One knee or both, bring them toward the heart. You can cross the ankles if you like. Take hold of the shins, not the kneecaps, or <clears throat> back of the knees. Bringing the knees to the heart. Inhaling, let the arms extend. Let the knees lift away from the chest. Draw on the navel and as you exhale, bend those elbows and bring those knees back close to the heart. Two more times, super slow-mo. Inhaling. Arms extend. Knees lift away from the heart. Draw in the navel, slow exhale. 
Bend those elbows as the knees come close to the chest. Third time, inhaling. Arms extend as the knees lift off the chest. Navel draws in as you exhale. Bend the elbows and bring those knees toward the heart. <clears throat> Keeping the knees close to the heart, inhale the, arm, the hands out to the sides, palms down, draw in the navel, exhale, knees toward your right wrist. You can bring in a block underneath the lower thigh, knee, or leg. If there's any twinge in the underarm, bring the left fingertips to the waist. And take a breath. Inhale. Exhale. If your neck feels okay, ground your left ear to the earth. And take another super slow breath extending and inflating as you inhale, drawing in the navel and grounding as you exhale. Release the binds, slowly inhale the gaze and the knees back to the center. And as you exhale, draw in your navel, and bring your knees toward your left wrist. Again, think, um, right fingertips to your waist. Take a breath in, it's nice and slow. Slow breath out. If your neck feels okay, ground your right ear and take another slow, full breath. One more breath. Expanding and extending with the inhale, drawing in the navel, relaxing and grounding with the exhale. Take your time. Inhale, gaze and knees to the midline of the body. Take hold of the shins or the back of the knees and give yourself a hug for breath. <sighs> Keeping the knees where they are. Inhale the hands to the earth. Draw on the navel, slowly exhale soles of the feet to the earth and take a breath <sighs> let's find shavasana or stillness you can take shavasana in partial recline with the knees bent you can take full recline with the legs extended or you can take Shavasana lying on one side and hugging a bolster. <coughs> this was one of my favorite parts of the prenatal class. <laughs> Blanket under your head, or as we relax, we feel cool. Our temperature goes down about a degree. You can always spread that blanket over your body. If you'd like a blanket, I'll gladly get, um, get you one and, and spread it over you. Or are you okay? Are you a little chilly? Oh, no, I'm fine. Okay. <clears throat> Do any stretches or um, <clears throat> little twists that you may need if you feel any stiffness? And find your Shavasana. Make yourself as comfortable as possible so that you can be still for 
two minutes. <clears throat> We're going back to the natural breath. We're no longer counting. We're no longer worrying about if our abdomen is inflating enough. We're no longer worrying about if we're drawing our navel in enough. Back to the natural breath. A gentle body scan from head to foot and from foot to head to see if there's any place else that you can allow to relax. Is there any place else where you can send oxygen to open any stiffness, any tightness? Seek out those places that are still offering you, offering you resistance in your body as well as in your mind. Let yourself settle. Stay where you are. We have one more minute. I'm going to sit up and read our affirmation. <laughs> Today, for the sake of time, we'll do the Metta or Compassion Prayer. <sighs> May all beings be peaceful. May all beings be content. May all beings be safe. May all beings awaken to the light of their true nature, which is peace. May all beings be free. So let it be written, so let it be done. Bring the awareness back to the body. Wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. Circle the wrist one time in each direction. Circle the ankles one time in each direction. And let's bend the knees and gently roll onto the side. Left side is the common side, right side is the active side. And as you inhale, roll up from the side. Is this the urge to roll back onto your back? Find our comfortable seat. Cross-legged, staff pose, wide straddle, or even hero pose. If you are in sitting in um, easy pose, put the opposite leg in front to bring more balance to our life. Sit up nice and tall. Take a breath. With your next inhale, Reach out to the sides and visualize that you are gathering everything that is truth, righteousness, justice, peace, equity, respect, love, joy for yourself as well as others. Slow exhale. Bring that affirmation, prayer, wish for yourself and others straight to your heart. Press the thumbs into the center of your chest, which is the location of your spiritual heart. Inhale, let your heart lift up to meet your affirmation, wish, or prayer. And as you exhale, bow to your true and divine self. Namaste. Namaste. Wa'u, <coughs> or many thanks for coming in today. I appreciate it. Thank you for practicing with me. Take your time, take your time, stretch it out. Take your time, stretch it out. Twist <coughs> if you need to.
So that is a peek at the um, beginner's gentle yoga class here at Norfolk Senior Center. Um, many thanks. Please uh, thank you for watching this video to the end. Please press like, leave an inspiring comment, and share with other like-minded souls. Merya, much love. Blessed be.